Okay, so now let's look at the next program where we create more threads. So the name of the class here is my threads, and the hello world program looks like this. It's it's it is a it is a class that implements runnable, so it has a run method, and it prints hello world and bye world, and it has one extra line here that basically tells which thread it is. When this, when we run this program, you know, two two threads will come here to this line and run this method, right? So we want to know which thread was running it. So that's why we are getting what's the name of the thread that is printing hello world and by world. Okay. Now let's go to main method and main method creates an object of the hello world class using the class and then passes this reference hello object reference to thread so you're creating new thread right so you create thread 1 and thread 2 and then you start both threads and then you put the join statement here which means that main thread will wait for these two threads to finish so let's run this program so when you run this program you get hello world uh, printed by thread 1 and hello world printed by thread 2 and then by world printed by thread 2 and then hello world printed by thread 1 right so thread number 1 and thread number 2 are basically you know interleaving you, know, you can think of you know two threads are racing against each other to uh, you know print something right? hello world and by world so if you run this program one more time you basically got a different sequence of output so you got hello world by thread one and thread one is able to you know finish hello world and by world so both lines uh, got executed by the same thread and after that the same code got executed by uh, second thread thread number two so let's run it one more time and you get thread one thread two the same output and this is what yeah this one is a little bit different so here thread number two uh, ran and it print hello world then the control switched to thread number one and it printed hello world then thread number one continued with by world and only after thread one uh, got through its two lines in the run method of that you know, thread two got by world so you know between thread two printing first sentence and second sentence thread one was able to you know run and uh, send its output to the print screen so I hope the 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 interference among each other uh, the, the threads are basically running against each other the the program that each thread is running is getting basically uh, interleaved right between the two threads so you could do this exercise with multiple threads as well right so one way to extend this program to create many threads would be to uh, you know use an array of threads so you can create an array of threads like this so let me create an array of threads instead of you know if you have to create many threads then it's it's easier to create an array of threads so let's say thread is equal to new thread and you pass hello object and then give a name so since you have you know, many threads uh, let's call let's create the array first let's say you want to create four threads right so this is now you want to uh, instantiate those threads and since there are four you can use a loop so you can say thread ID equals to zero thread ID less than four because you have four threads you want to create them one after another thread id plus plus plus. 
end you basically now do thread creation so thread i thread id is equal to new thread and here you basically pass the runnable object so you have a runnable object called hello obj and then you pass the thread id and i just want to make this a string okay so you create those threads and now you have to have a join statement right join statements so that main thread waits for the other thread to finish okay so now what we have done is we created basically uh, one line we are missing and that is thread dot start so by doing this actually we are creating many threads but using an array and then a loop okay so let's run this program so four threads got created and then you know, four threads are have to print hello world and by world so you have a hello world here and by thread number three by thread number three by thread number two by thread number one and thread. it's interesting that you know if you look at thread number zero thread number zero printed hello world but after that it lost uh, you know it, re it relinquished the control to other threads and the other threads were able to have their in print statements in between and only after all of the threads finished uh, the print statement the second print statement the by world line got 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 out to the you know the, to the to the screen so that's interesting all right you can run it one more time to see you know you have where you can have variable uh, input and in this case you have all the threads you know running one after another right so this is a nice output but the order in which you know these things get printed which thread gets turned we cannot predict it so here you know, thread number zero got the access first and thread number two got to the run method and then thread number one and thread number three so it's completely you know you cannot predict it and the thing is once threads are created then the operating system uh, schedules them like which one gets access to the method which one gets uh, through you know these two print statements right so that is uh, an issue operating system controls as a programmer now you know we don't have uh, normally very minimal control if we are programming in this way so it's possible to set priority and uh, to force enforce you know some sequence but this this is this, this default version you know we are letting any threat to you know do its job and whatever code we write in run method is what gets executed okay So let's stop here.